Oh, we're alive. We are live. Hi there. Welcome, everyone, <laughs> to the Look Club what? Live. Y'all are so far. I didn't hear you walk in. We can't get, we can't get any closer because there's two of us, Daniel. <laughs> oh, or do you mean because we're in Louisiana? <laughs> Yay. Hey, everyone. Hello. Um, I am Katie, and this is... Uh, hi, I'm Majori, and um, and we have joining us from San Diego, Danielle. <laughs> um, and we are. This is Look Club Live, and our theme tonight: we are getting ready for the cabaret soiree. Um, the big wig ball is coming up this Friday, so we are going to be doing a Moulin Rouge look for y'all live tonight. Um, and we, what are we going to use? Well, <laughs> Majori, we're going to use I don't know. Um, some fantastic Electra products. This is a, a, a extra. But we're all going to be doing, I mean, we think we're going for a smoky eye. So we're using um, this fantastic pigment burgundy. Really pretty dark um, purple, maroon. For um, purple who, people who aren't from here and who pronounce it burgundy, <laughs> the proper way for this product to be pronounced if you're in New Orleans is burgundy. Yes, yeah, some people call the color burgundy, <laughs> but you know, the street is burgundy. So um, that is a beautiful it's dark beautiful. shade we're using. And then it's like a deep aubergine with a sh little bit of a shimmer to it. That, I, let me just get you to describe it. I'll just say the name and then you just. <laughs> okay, so this is Obsidian, the next power pigment we're using. Mm, obsidian, oh yeah. So it's, it's it's a black, but you can still see like little flecks of almost like a slate in it. So when you say Obsidian, you really get that sort of mineral quality behind the name of it because it does have that sort of flaky, um, sexy, subtle shimmer it's not a glittery it's a pigment so you'll see that shimmery subtleness to it oh, wow you're amazing okay so next <laughs> <laughs> next is um powdered sugar oh i'm gonna eat you you know this would be like you know this should be named powdered sugar this should be named beignet because <laughs> this is like the powdered sugar all over your beignets when you hear it's, it's it like is. glitter that's light as air it's so light as air and also i can see it just touching the bottom of here. And so um, how I would describe this as different from other um, colors that are like this, um, in that in the way that it's described with powdered sugar, it ha you can see the little flecks of it. So it's going to again give you, it's a pigment, so it's going to give you those little flecks as a um, reflection, just with a soft shimmer, but it's not going to give you like a full glitter kind of feel, it's just a soft shimmer, but it, it has a very, um, cool shade to it it is a silver it's, it's our like silver tone kind of it's like, like a silvery dust. white a cool white a silvery white That's yeah right. all right great yeah. <laughs> and then for our micro fine we're doing um silver a b this is an actual micro fine <gasps> glitter oh okay so silver mm -hmm. a b so tell them about a b do you know, they know about a b Aurora Borealis. It took me so long <laughs> to learn how to say that word. <laughs> so because of our our roots in cabaret and our roots in burlesque, um, it if you costume at all, Aurora Borealis is like a, it's used to describe gemstones that have like an A B and um, a holographic quality. They have like a coating on them, so we call our holographic glitters AB, uh, Aurora Borealis, because of all of the different colors that are popping. Like a silver that you'll get that sort of a rainbow holographic shimmer behind it. So if you're looking for a real disco ball type of glitter, uh, this would be a microfine disco ball rainbow holographic as opposed to the pure silver. Pure silver gives you that real metallic just silver type of look but this is definitely going to give you that little um disco glam yeah a little pop of rainbow pop of rainbow which sometimes you need when the light hits red and then we are going for a red lip um because what is a moulin rouge look without a red lip That's right and um we are doing gilded garnet tonight um so we have two fantastic red long wear lipsticks this is our um metallic one we have a matte but this is a metallic and then we have the um micro fine blended to match Gilded Garnet, and which is good on eyes or lips. Ooh, um, yeah, this has a nice shimmer to it. It's not what I have on right now. 
because I just came from another shoot. So sacrilege. I'm wearing another product on camera. But it's okay. We'll cover it up, Majori. It's going to be soon covered with something else. He's in high demand. They're in high demand. So, you know, as long as we're just happy that you're here and we happy can to get you. Thank you. Yay. Give me all hugs. Hugs. <laughs> hugs. Virtual <laughs> hugs from Santa. Air Diego. hugs to people out there right now. Air hugs to all the glitter babies. And air hugs to anyone joining us right now. Say hi. Post a comment so we know you're here. And uh, also hug to our friend Crystal who is in the studio audience. Hello. Shout out to Crystal. Shout out Yay. to Crystal. Welcome. Lane. Um, yeah, she's our live studio audience woo, today. You yeah, you can, you can woo it or comment at any time. And then, and then also... I'm going to apply every time you guys do a swipe of makeup. Thank you. <laughs> what do you say, Danielle? Oh, we we also want to, sh you know, we're really excited about the big wig shindigs yes. this weekend. <laughs> so the big wig ball is Friday, and that's kind of what we're getting ready for here as well. We're kind of doing some inspo looks that you can wear for looking like the big wig ball, which has a theme of Moulin Rouge, but you could wear this for any sparkly event, but we're kind of doing inspired looks for the theme of Moulin Rouge for big wig ball. And big wig ball is um, going to be at Art Amazing on Friday from seven to 10. And it's a great event that benefits the um, educational programs at the New Orleans Opera. So it's a really good charity and it's a really fun event. And whoever wins best wig gets to be Nola Bigwig the following year. How do I know? Cause I'll be in one. And also, we've got a judge in the house, so oh, and I'm a judge. some people need to, uh, you know, kind of kiss up. Besides being <laughs> judgy, I'm also a judge, so now I have a reason to channel it. So, um, yeah, bring your looks Friday so I can see you and judge you. So, real quick, we want to say, hey, Bianca says, hi, Midori. Can't wait to see you at the Big Wig Ball on hi, Friday. And Leslie says, hello, she's tuning in from Church Point. Good to see you, Leslie. Yay! Hi, Leslie. Hi, Bianca. Danielle's really waving hello. <laughs> I'm waving. <laughs> um, I'm also excited for this look. My sister is having her 40th birthday party next weekend. Yay. And it's all, it's fiery 40. So it is, she wanted to be sexy and red themed. So when she saw these colors, she's like, oh my gosh, are you like getting ready for my birthday? I was like, okay, perfect. So it's a dry run for the big yeah. wig ball and also for my sister's Yes, it's fiery for you, 40th. my sister. Yes, of, course. of course. Everything is for you. All right, so I started laying out um, our products on this little metal palette. Um, and yeah, I actually like have an idea tonight. A lot of times when we do these, I don't know which way I'm going, even though we have a theme. But I have a couple of, I think I'm going to be like slightly classier Christina Aguilera in the Mulan Rouge video. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I like it. I love it. I'm, I'm still. I'm looking on Pinterest for my look as usual. Uh, today was a day. Um, I was thinking about doing a, a fun eye, like a glam eye, but also I was thinking about bringing our friend Crystal over here to do a look on her. So maybe to do a different kind of look. Because I like to do, you know, the pretty eye that we like to do, big glam, colorful eye, which is great for costumes and balls and shows like this. But I also really love doing stuff, especially with the pigments and the glitters. I love doing when we, we um, mask off different shapes on the face. So um, that could be a fun one, especially for costume balls like this, where you want to make a statement. Um, I'm not revealing what my statement on Friday is yet because it, if my practice run fails, then I need a plan B. So, but, uh, but I love making those uh, mask type of things, which are great for balls. And you don't even have to make mask shapes. You could make a star or a triangle. We've done some really great ones like that on Danielle in the past. Um, so maybe we'll do a quick, you know, triangle eye or a, a, a nice wing shape or a fun shape on crystal too. Nice. So tell me what you're doing. So I'm going in, I'm already using a product that we did not just list because it's my favorite. <laughs> I'm using Paranormal, which is uh, another one of our pigments that is a fantastic highlighter. And I'm going to lay this down on my like brow bone and in the inner corner of my eye before I lay down um, just the Just lay it on the skin. I did not make it on the skin. I uh, laid down some Electric Power Primer first. This is a 
is we don't know if this is for sale yet. We've been calling it, <laughs> we like talk it up so much. We've been much. calling it experimental. It's for true, like it's experimental, it's not for sale, but I mean, we talk it up so much. We, I'm experimental. Let us know, we can, have you used this? Before? No, I would like to try some, please. There you go. Um, that is, here's alcohol to know you got yours. It's, a, it's an amazing base. Um, it's a really good primer. Uh, it's, I would say like cream to powder. It seems to just, I don't know, like sometimes I put it on and I'm like, I could just wear this. Like, yeah, it looks really nice. It looks like, well, let me wipe this off. I just sprayed it. I just sprayed your Yeah, I find it is like a nice eye. It like brightens the eye. Like you said, Danielle, sometimes just yeah. put it on and I'm like, oh, you know what? I'll just put a little powder on a sometimes nice on top. If I'm going to wear just that all day, I'll put a little powder on because it could crease after many hours. But if you put any eyeshadow on that, that thing lasts all day, all night. It's really great. I'm going to be good and use the tray and not my hand. <laughs> but it's nice so far. I feel it's way creamy and stuff. All right, girl. Well, it's let's do this. Um, let's see. So, yeah, I have a little bit of color on my face from earlier shoot today. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna just go with it because I feel like sometimes when you're doing a look, you're coming from an event anyway. You're coming from work or you're coming from wherever, and you need to like wake up your tired look. Um, not that you look tired, but I might right now. I so look tired. <laughs> let's do uh, uh, what is it? A, a day to evening, uh, you know, nine to five to like a day to evening kind of look. So I'm gonna take the look I have and just kind of update it. Um, I love that Midori's nine to five was like doing a, a, a full party, <laughs> party in a, in a glitter shoot. caftan in a glitter in a sparkly um, caftan. <laughs> which, by the way, shout out to um, uh, Fringe and Co. We had a great time doing um, a photo shoot with them with Miss Crystal today, and um, you should check out Fringe and Co.'s um, socials because they probably have begun posting them, and it was super fun. And we got in the pool, and it was crazy. Um, they were using uh, bolt bomb. Oh yes, we that bolt bomb was used, and um, we were um, in their new line of caftans, which the last time they had them sold out in, in like, like half an hour. Yeah, half an hour. Um, and also, in case I'm looking a little extra almond milk today, um, I got a fantastic spray tan <laughs> from Uptown Charm. So shout out to Uptown Charm. Hey y'all. It looks like I got more sun than I did, but it Yeah, works. it does look like you got a lot of sun. Um, so, Danielle, we have two. We've got Leslie saying it does look like a good primer. And Danielle um, Shoemake says, sell it, I want it. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Danielle on the weekend when she's here. She can't say no, then she'll give it to you. <laughs> she'll sell it to you. Um, and I am going in with a little bit of that um, burgundy slash burgundy for you Yankees. Thanks. <laughs> um, yeah, so it, uh, on top, uh, in terms of this primer, sorry, it does feel like it's similar to texture to like the Urban Decay Eye Primer. It's real soft and creamy blend um, in case people are wondering what it feels like. Um, it's um, flesh tone and it disappears on your skin and it's real creamy and it feels really nice. Whoever is planning to try it. <laughs> Whoever can convince Danielle, no. Elizabeth um, Seagraves is first on the list because she's been tuning into all these little clubs. She's like, give me that primer. I want it. Like, all right. We're just talking. Um, about I'm going to bring the primer all the way up to my eyebrow because I'm probably going to do some color higher up there. And what I always tell people is um, wherever you're planning to put eyeshadow, put primer because uh, it will it will make a big difference in how the pigment sticks to your face. If your pigment or your eyeshadow is going on patchy or um, uneven in any kind of way, um, it's probably because your primer went on uneven. If you aren't using primer, it's because you didn't use primer. <laughs> it's because um, if you don't have to use primer, but if you don't use, not saying you have to use primer, but if you don't, what primer does is it evens out the, the oiliness and the um, dryness and gives you a nice clean palette. If you're not going to use primer, that's fine. Just make sure that you have a, uh, puts something else on your skin to make sure you don't have oily patches versus dry patches. That's what's going to make your pigment or your eyeshadow come out patchy. Um, if you've already put something on and you're like, hey, this is coming out patchy, how do I fix it? Usually the secret is, to me, is add more pigment and blend, blend, blend. Because um, 
blend because what you're doing is you're adding more pigment to it, making the surface area continually drier, which is evening out the moisture level on the skin in that area. So you're doing what you're asking your pigment or another thing to do, which is give me an even area of the same level of moisture and dryness. So just add more pigment. Um, it doesn't have to be the darkest color you've been using. It could be a lighter color. But blend, blend, blend is the secret. I am currently blending. I'm using the um, I'm using the uh, burgundy dry. So um, you might get a little bit of fallout when you use the pigments dry. Um, so I just kind of you know, we'll probably reapply a little bit of my concealer, but it's really not bad. Um, the only reason I'm not going straight in with the um, gel transformer is it is, uh, th these are, I'm working with dark pigments to start. So I want to just lay it on dry. And then, I mean, it actually looks kind of really pretty. Like it looks really, really good. quick smoky eye. Look how pretty that is without even any primer too. And it's probably because you have even skin. No, I had a little, I did do oh, yeah. primer earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did do it, but it, um, but it's, I just did it dry and I just did a tiniest bit and you can't really, you can kind of see it's not black. It's got a little more depth to it than if we used, um, I went straight for the, um, the, uh, not onyx, but what, 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 obsidian. obsidian. Um, but when I come back in in a little bit, I'll put, um, I'll put some uh, more gel, tra I'll put gel transformer. And I think you'll be really be able to see that purple pop a little bit more. Um, Danielle, Leslie says your eyes are amazing. The shape and everything. They are perfect for makeup. Oh, they are. thank she you. Does. Good as. I got you know, I've never put on makeup live on camera before. Really? No. Well, it's, it's, really? <laughs> no. Welcome. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the Look Club Live. This is what kept us sane during <laughs> quarantine. <laughs> yeah. It did. It was like such a, it, it's interesting because, you know, now that things are more opening up, we're obviously doing Look Club less, but we still want to try to do it at least monthly. And last month was it last month or the month before i don't know we had kelsey on with us it was amazing it was super fun and it's like wow like we really enjoy having other people on with us not that you know katie and i aren't the best but <laughs> because we are it's a fun hangout no it's a fun hangout y'all don't don't know okay. Hey, I'm put FYI, I'm putting some of the primer underneath my eye, close to the lash line there, and I'm gonna blend it. Um, I always put a little bit of eye, whatever eyeshadow primer that I'm using, I always put a little bit underneath the eye, close to the lash line, because I like to use a little bit of the same color eyeshadow underneath the eye, along the lash line, um, just to open up the eye. So I'm using a little bit of primer underneath there, as well as on top, and I'm gonna blend it out, um, uh, kind of, if you can see that, I've angled it all along the lower lash line. I don't want to blend it out and up in that same almond shape. If you're ever not sure how to blend things uh, for the eyes, always blend them out and up and try to follow the angle of your own cheekbone. And if it's kind of difficult to figure that out, lay your brush along your cheekbone and you can kind of see the angle of your cheekbone and you can kind of see where your eyeshadow might want to blend outward and upward in the same way. That's a good tip. Tips, 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 tips. Um, Leslie says, glad you said that. I'm not used to using pigment, so I'm worried about the fallout. So, yeah, it's really not bad. I mean, you see I'm using a really dark color, so you can just, I always just kind of buff it off as I go. And then you can also use tape. And then, I mean, this isn't even bad enough, like, that you would need to use a makeup wipe. But, oh, you know what, too? If you're doing, uh, if you have fallout, I have a really, if you ever use HD powders, um, using a little powder brush and a little HD powder um, underneath the eye. I've been using uh, one from Tarte. It's like a clear HD powder. Um, but what's great about them is they're microfine, but you can also find one from Maybelline for like 12 bucks. And um, if you've got fallout from pigment or glitter or any kind of eyeshadow, um, if you dust it with your brush and then flick it off, um, it will flick right off. It's magical. Oh, that's you awesome. Try some later. Um, that works really well. Otherwise, the old thing of like, just do your eyes first, wipe it off, and then do the rest of your face. But um, the uh, the powder trick works really well. I can show you the one I used. Yeah, what was the name of that Maybelline one? Um, it's Maybelline, I think it's like HD, HD um, powder blur something. This one I have here is Tarte Smooth Operator. But the Maybelline HD is like a dupe of the same thing. Um, Too Faced 
had used to have a loose powder that would do the same thing. Um, but they're but what the gig is, they are uh, a finer blend than regular powder, and they have no color to them. Whereas your face powder, if you use it under your eyes or on your face, it will be adding pigment and more color to your face that you might not necessarily want. And it will also, um, it's a bigger granule than microfine powders. So if you want to use a dusting powder for your face to pick up all that kind of stuff and to add um, a blur to your face, the, the HD powders, the clear ones will give you a little bit of a filter blur effect. Um, so those are also nice. I'll take a little filter on my face. <laughs> um, hi, Andrea. Andrea's tuning in. She says, hi, lady. Hi, Andrea. What's Hello. Up? Hello. Good to see you, Andrea. Or, or, or feel you. I really haven't seen <laughs> what's, um, what's everyone else doing besides watching us? And then what's everyone else doing tonight? Are you chilling? Are you putting on makeup? Are you playing? Are you, like, makeuping along? Are you, like... Basking in the glory. Andrea says, I'm having, uh, I've been having trouble with my eyeshadows across multiple brands creasing after a while. Any tips? I'm, I'm going to hand this to Midori. Yeah, the, on the eyeshadow. I'm sorry, I missed it. What, the eyeshadow? Um, she said she's having um, creasing, creasing issues. On the eyeshadow? I, yeah. Um, then um, you want to definitely look at what eyeshadow primers that you're using. Um, if you, and you can do a couple things. One is, um, uh, Using, if you don't like the, if the primer that you're using right now is still causing creasing, then um, you want to switch to something a little stronger. Urban Decay makes eye primer too that's a little bit stronger. Um, and then um, when you are um, putting on your eyeshadow, if you're still experiencing creasing, um, I would also look at the eyeshadow that you're using. Some eyeshadows are very pigment heavy and some are not. So um, eyeshadows that have more pigment to them will be more blendable and have more color to them. Um, pressed pigments that are pressed in a thing, you know, like these good old things, um, when they're pressed, they you have to work them up. And so um, when you want to get more uh, pigment on your eyeshadow this way, you'll be using a flatter brush. It's a natural bristle brush. And if you want to get more pigment onto your eye, tap it on with the flat side and then blend. And you'll be able to get more powder onto the top of your lid in order to blend it out. And that way it should pack it into the crease more. The third thing I would add is, are you doing a, um, are you doing a uh, spray set afterwards? If you're adding a setting spray after your makeup is done, it will also hold everything in place. So if you've got anything loose, creasing, anything else going on in there, um, spraying with a little setting spray. The one I'm using tonight and lately is the Dewy Set. Um, this one is uh, an Anastasia Dewy Set. Um, I'm using it partly now because in the summertime, we're all going to be doing anyway, so it's mm -hmm. impossible. Mm -hmm. um, I also like the Dewy Set because I also feel like for um, our faces, as we get older, you want a little more moisture and you don't want anything too hard and crunchy. So unless we're doing a look that's a parade day or something that you know you're going to be dancing and sweating in all night, then I'll use a much stronger, like a Kat Von D locket to hold it in place. But um, this is really kind of light and it still gives you moisture um, in your face. So a little setting spray is also going to help keep things from creasing. Um, and then Tarte also makes an under eye primer. I think it's a primer and a concealer that is specifically made to avoid for creasing. So if you want, also you can ask me later and I'll I'll find that. But it's made by Tarte and it's anti-creasing. Um, cool. Andrea does have the Urban Decay Eye Potion and has been using the Urban Decay Setting Spray, but I'm not married to it. I do like the Urban Decay one, but I think yeah, it's a probably a lot. Of, right, has to do with chemistry and if you need extra moisturizer or less, right? If your skin's dry or if it's oily, yeah, it's a difference. Yeah. Also, try that HD Setting Powder too. You can use that on your eyeshadow as well. It's clear. And if you just, it's, you can put it anywhere because it's clear and it will um, absorb any extra oils and that'll also hold things in place and keep it from creasing. Um, if those won't work, tell me and I'll, <laughs> and show me a picture of eye and what products you're using and I will diagnose Email you. me. I will diagnose <laughs> you, my baby. I, I also feel like, I mean, it's been 
a couple of years now, but I felt like Urban Decay changed the formula for their, um, for their, uh, the primer, the primer. Oh, and I so used good. to like it more. I agree. Previously, when you could just squeeze it out and then it was like more creamy. And now, uh, I don't know, even know if I have one with me because I use it occasionally, but now you pull it out and there's like a wand on the end. I agree. I know. I, I, I'm with you on that one. I feel like that I used to love that. That's the only one I use. And then they came out with like 18 different kinds of the, the, the potion. And then I was like, now I don't like any of them. I don't know what happened. Too many potions. Too many potions. Stick to your one, which is <laughs> it's like when the menu gets too big and I'm still hungry. I can't decide. It's too many things. Too many. Don't give us so many options. No, I just want a few options. We simple folk. All right. All right. I'm just putting a little bit of concealer on so if it was the end of say today is you know it is it's the end of the day but i still want to go out and be cute um i'm just going to touch up areas of my face that need it but i also want to bring light into the face so what i'm doing is i'm going to use a um a concealer as a highlighter real quick and i'm going to um put highlighting in the area that is the center of the face the diamond area so a little highlight in the little rainbow above the third eye kind of area. I put some underneath the eyes. I put some on top of the cheekbones, blended it. I put some around the nose. A lot of people get a little bit of redness around the nose and blend it. And then lately I've been putting a little bit underneath the lower corners just to pick up the smile because I don't want to cast shadow down there, but I also want to bring light down there so you can see my smile. Um, I also don't usually, unless someone asks, I don't usually cover all the freckles and sun, you know, whatever on a person because I think it looks nice and natural. But if someone wants a full coverage, I like to leave a little bit of my glow and natural skin sh getting sh more sheer as you reach the edges of the face. So it's not too much of a heavy coverage. No, well, now people add their own freckles. So my yeah, he was the one. I did a couple of years ago. Did two, two of them, I think, about freckles, and I did a little photo store about freckles. And Miss Crystal was in them. Um, so uh, I, yeah, we did one of real freckles, one of girls with makeup freckles, and then see if you can tell the difference. Ooh, look at his eyes coming out. It's I know I like what's yeah. coming. I, I used Midori's yeah. tips while they were being told, <laughs> <laughs> and I changed the eye shape because I am one that I once I start getting the blending right, I don't pay attention to what's happening on the edit, like, and I'm like, oh, I don't like that shape, and sometimes I'm like, it's too late, I have to go. Um, so I kind of I didn't use the I should use this trick though. But I used, and I, Daniel, I swear you taught me this, that this is, if you use the gel transformer, which we also don't sell online, but you can buy um, at our HQ, um, or if you email us, what, we, what you can, we'll, we'll sell it to you. hook up? Yeah, but I swear, Daniel, you taught me this, that it's like an, a, you can kind of make an eraser out of it, a magic eraser. We put the gel transformer on um, a Q-tip, and then I kind of went around the eye and changed the shape of my eye because I didn't love the way I had blended out, and so I made it a little bit more. Show rainy. your face on the oh, camera hi. when you do Sorry, it. Sorry, I have to get on top Show of the door. So you yeah, get so I, I kind of for <laughs> that's for later. Yeah, but it, we got to do it so close so everyone can see. That's what <laughs> All right, so go go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, so that's it. I just used the um, the gel transformer and kind of um, shaped my eye. It's still not perfect yet, but I, I like where it's Looks going. Crazy. And I'm gonna blend it. Thank you. I'll blend it a little more. So I'll, I'm gonna keep using my little magic. I like where this is going. I can really see that cat eye shape coming out. You know, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, so I like it. It's like, is it getting towards Christina Aguilera, but not us? <laughs> a little higher class. <laughs> what I'm going for. Listen, X-Tina, don't hit on the X-Tina, oh, girl. Um, <laughs> I'm using a gel blush. This is a, just a color pop one, but I love cream and gel blushes also because I love a dewy set. So I'm just doing, um, I've also, I love using things for other things. And Danielle, I've totally used any of, I've used the um, lipstick pigment sometimes. I'll take a lip and then I'll use a dot and use it on the cheeks and just blend it out for a nice Ooh. cheek. Um, and do like a little maybe, uh, maybe I'll experiment right. with that today. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And just take a dot of it. And what I do is I put it, um, you can either do, depending on your face shape, you can either do the apples, um, or what I like to do is the apples keep the face very round looking. That's a very 
I'm not meaning to give you the finger. I'm just touching my face there. <laughs> um, but the apple is of the face. Um, but I like to move it upward and outward to right here. So it's almost, it's just below the corners of the eyes and then blend it outward and upward. Um, and I feel like that kind of gives the focus to the eyes as well as um, it kind of uh, hugs the cheekbone a little bit more. Um, if you are going to be doing bronzer or any contouring to the face, which it's summertime and I'm not doing contouring unless we need to for some reason. But also I haven't been doing a lot of contouring lately. I just feel like, um, you know, a dewy face. Is the trend right is now. dewy. You've heard it here for, for a majority dewy. of time. Sparkly. Throw away your contour, at least for now. I Dewey, feel like, okay, here's, freckles, here's my fragile. trend report. Not that I'm a trend, whatever, because if you follow my trends, I mean, I just do what I want to do. But here's my That's trend. That's what trendsetters do. Okay, well, this is what I'm into. <laughs> um, I really love where brows are going, where they're getting more natural, and you can comb them, and you can see your skin behind them, the more natural the brow, and just giving it a hint of, of, um, of grooming. Um, has been really great. I love doing uh, a lip stain and just staining the lip and then uh, uh, maybe popping a gloss on top. Um, and so it's not a dry lip, but it is uh, a very, you know, not quite a popsicle lip, but a lip stain with a little bit of gloss. I love doing those. And I love a monochromatic when you take a lip and you take a little bit of the same color and use it as a gel blush, which obviously if you're doing something red, it's kind of a lot. So you don't, you're not going to be like, a whole bunch of red, but you can take a tiny dot of it. And especially for when your skin is, when, you know, depending on how dark you are, it's going to be a really beautiful look. I'm going to so, work too. I think you should. Um, Andrea too. says she's on TikTok use. blush contouring today and I might try it. Oh, I think you should try it. I'm also, I love being proved wrong. I don't think there should be any rules with makeup. I think that, um, you should, people should experiment and do what, you know, the only rules are ever like, if, it, if someone wants something that looks natural and you want to know what looks harmonious because it happens in nature, yes, those are general rules. But uh, realistically wearing them in life, there are no rules. And I love when things are broken in interesting ways. So um, anywho, this color I'm wearing, if anyone wants to know, is a color pop called Mic Drop and it's a gel. Mic Drop. Okay. All right. I'm coming in with um, a little gel transformer on the um, burgundy and I did burgundy under my eyes with like a well it's not really a it's just an angular sh shader brush from the craft store but it was too harsh of a line because that's usually what I use for my eyeliner it's a good brush thanks yeah um I, I get them from Michaels because I can't find any eyeliner that's brush I like tip, anymore the art supply store has great makeup brushes don't knock it yeah so I went for this one's a little fatter than I love, but then I realized it was st still got a really crisp line. So I am just going in with like smaller brushes. Oh, that's what I don't have. I don't have my small eyeshadow brush anyway. And then I just kind of blended the underneath because I want this to be smoky and sultry. And now I'm putting in, I don't know how much y'all can see. I'll have to, we'll have to bring our faces close to the end. But um, I uh, put, use the gel transformer on the burgundy. And you can really see the difference between the purple and the black now, where before it kind of, they were just blending because they were both dry. They looked really, it looked really pretty, but you couldn't see the color difference that much. And now you, it's really starting to pop. So pop, 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 pop. Oh my God, I've been wearing this scrunchie all day. Um, we do. We have some accessories That's for so later. Cool. <laughs> oh, we brought more accessories for later. Where did you find that amazing hat, Midori? Um, I've actually had this for years, for years and years, and uh, it just shows up when you need her. I feel like she's definitely a Moulin Rouge hat, though. But you know, as much as I love her, she's just not big enough. For the big wig ball. No, she, this is for practice. She's the first practice out of the evening. This is like <laughs> this is like your low key casual Moulin Rouge. This is like Moulin Rouge, like waking up and having like pop tarts for breakfast or like, champagne or champagne. absinthe. You know? This is like when you when you dip your pop tarts in champagne for breakfast <laughs> and wake up with your Moulin Rouge hat on. Yeah, that's a normal day. <laughs> Um, all right, I'm ready to start some more eye color. Um, I'm in love with that, um, what's that um, highlighter you used? Was yes, so Paranormal. Yeah, I'm going to try some Paranormal because I'm Paranormal. The Paranormal is... Um, I mean, I'm not normal. No, none of us are normal. If you're normal, 
bless you. What's your name? Say hi. <laughs> Cause you're probably being quiet. Right now. <laughs> but, um. So I'm going to start with some of the, um, sometimes also I like to work light to dark because then I don't have to change as many brushes. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to start with the highlighter and work from my inner eye corner to the outer. Um, and uh, I'm gonna start with that paranormal because it looks so beautiful. It looks like the pigment version of Unicorn um, Bolt Balm, which is still my favorite. I can't quit you, my love. <laughs> um, it's just such a beautiful, fine, I'm gonna put some on my hand. Um, Andrea says that hat is business casual Moulin Rouge. Yeah. <laughs> business cash. <laughs> like, um, Moulin Rouge, I came in here to do accounting and um, yeah, do some networking. Mm -hmm. Business cash Moulin Rouge. All right, I just put a little bit of this on my hand and let's see what we can see. That duo chrome is so um, pretty. Can that, let's see. Oh, there we go. And so I'm coming in with a little burgundy on just mixing it with the gel transformer and kind of just um, like doing an eyeliner, a little eyeliner, a little oh. wing. Look, I just popped a little bit on. I didn't blend it yet. I'm just, girl, yeah. it's showing up. Uh, yeah, I'm like, I hope y'all can see because we look real pretty in here. <laughs> I hope Ooh, wow. that you can see what's starting to see. That's amazing. <laughs> Let's see. Crystal, look. <laughs> Crystal, oh, tell them. Studio audience. Studio yes. audience. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here. It's open in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> um, so, um, the Big Brick Ball. <laughs> Welcome to Look Club Live. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. Featuring. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Do I need to make a laugh track? No. Yes. No, just laugh every time I say something. <laughs> so usually when I do a highlight, I'll start in the inner corners and I'll pull it over the first quarter to one third of the eye, depending on your eye shape and size and how much you want to do it. Um, how much do you want to do it? Um, I, sorry, I can't help but do innuendos. It's my, no, that's fine. We're, it's we're my fine jokes. That. It's my <laughs> jokes. Um, I'm so I'm putting I'm concentrating most of it in the inner corners and blending it out as I go so that it'll be brightest and lightest in the inner corners. Mm. That's where I want most of the I just concrete. love that. The um oh thank you. The um the reason why I like Chewing. to put my highlight in the center of the eye is to uh have the eyes appear a little more wide set. Um I uh, reason being when eyes are appear bigger as they do when we're doing makeup we're making our eyes look bigger i don't want them to appear closer together so they're getting bigger but they're not getting farther apart so the bigger they are i do want them to look a little bit further apart so you don't start to feel a little cross-eyed um depending on your face though you might already have a very wide set face or very wide set eyes or a lot more lid working for you than i have in which case some people like to put their highlight on the very center of the eye um, and then sometimes it's fun to put a little bit of highlight right below. So you can play around with your highlight placement, um, but this is usually how I do it, at least for myself and in general. Um, I'm also using this brush, which is a round, kind of a classic eyeshadow brush, round, tipped on the flat side, natural bristles. Natural bristles hold dry pigments the best. So if you're working with um, dry powder pigments, natural bristle brushes will hold them better why because they're more porous um a wig hair is like a synthetic brush and if you imagine touching a wig where it's all smooth and silky um things roll off of those very easily so so those are better for creamy and wet products whereas dry products are better with a natural bristle brush because like our hair which is more porous if you look at it it has little you know it has little things sticking out of it so porous things will grab onto little particles like um, dry eyeshadow so a uh, natural bristle brush is best for your dry pigments and eyeshadows um, if you bought a palette set and it did not come with maybe it came with a, another um, brush that was a synthetic brush um, that's fine. That's what they sent it with, probably because it was cheaper. But if you switch to a natural bristle brush, you'll probably find it works a lot better. Tips, tips, tips. So many tips. Ooh, great tips. Um, I went in, I decided I want 
to look a little bit uh, seedier. So I'm going to see here. <laughs> I like where we're going. Oh my God, it looks beautiful. Under my eye. And then I forgot, I for, I, I do this a lot. So I went in with the um, powdered sugar uh, on top of my lid, which I love the way it looks, but I, um, I forgot to do my liner. So I might just not do liner because it's not a big deal if you do the liner over the powdered sugar because it's not actually glitter, but I just will have to redo the powdered sugar because it's just, I mean, it's it's not actual glitter, but I just- You I, could also do um, a, a waterline liner. Oh yeah. Which I would be great that. with your yeah. smoky eye. Okay, well then that's where we're going. <laughs> if you need me to do it on you, I'll do it. No, I should be good. Okay. And we have these tiny brushes that come with the, the pigments and the microfine and it's this is re it's really easy to do with the um the liquid transformer. I love a waterline liner. Love it. I do I used to use it way too much because it definitely does make my eyes look smaller, but I think that's good for this look in particular. But I used to do it like on the rack. <laughs> I mean I know I know technically it feels like they look smaller but you've got so much going on around your eye that it sort of negates the small, what happens with that rim around it. And also, I mean, I think if you're also doing the waterline, you could just do the inner rim. When we say waterline, we're kind of talking about the inner rim of the eye right there. If you pull your eye open, that inner rim above your lashes. Um, if you line that, you can line it all the way across as well as above your lashes in between there. Or you can just do the outer corner. Sometimes I'll only just do the water lines in the outer corner and it kind of just picks up the corners too. That's another option. See, I like, okay, so I liked what, how my eyes look probably better before for a regular night, but this is what I'm going for. A little like, ugh, I'm, <laughs> I worked at the <laughs> and like, stayed up till 16 in the morning. No, it's like, that again. <laughs> glam to loose the trick. <laughs> yeah. I'm also going to hit the highlighter on underneath, on my brow bone, but underneath the brow. And I want most of the concentration of it to be right under there, but I'm going to blend it out. But you can kind of see where I'm putting it. And I'm going to blend it out there. Doop. I put the pigment right there, and then I'm going to blend it out. So the whitest part will be the peak of the eyebrow. Dolls. This is just amazing? this is just phantom highlighter. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is like a look. It is. I could it's just so be a phantom. <laughs> um, I'm also down with like trend report. I'm also down with just like <laughs> trend report. Trend report. Um, I just love simple washes of color, and I feel like especially for summertime, you don't always have to feel like you have to do a whole eye with three colors and do a whole story and do a whole glam eye. Sometimes just a wash of color. Uh, is so beautiful on its own, especially when the pigment is so beautiful and has so much going on. Some of these pigments have color shifts or so much going on with, within themselves. Um, a little bit of wash of color on the lid itself, and then you could give it a little blend with some mascara, a lip gloss. Like that's a summer look. You don't, you know, you don't have to do a lot. Um, or you can do one look with a highlighter, but. Don't always feel like you have to do a whole three colors and do a whole thing, but um, if you do, hooray, because I'm down for that too. All right, so now I have um, my light look on. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna dive into some dark colors now. This um, burgundy is like, oh lord. Yes, it's a beautiful deep aubergine. Um, I have it on bare skin. I should put it on over a primer so you can see vive la difference so as um midori is doing that do we talk about big wig ball coming up so um this is exciting this is also the first year having it at art amazing yes which is a self it's a selfie studio have so you been i have not i saw everybody's photos and i was out of town i missed the photo shoot but i'm very excited to go i can't wait for you to see it um, yeah, it's. Really it looks like they've changed a bunch of the exhibits, which will be cool. Oh, cool! It seems like they've been there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, there was a, a lot of fun ones when we were there, um, and uh, I loved like I loved the backdrops. It's super colorful. Um, Art Amazing is a place where, like, yeah, it builds a selfie gallery. So, and the backdrops are all lit up, so you can pop yourself in front of them. 
um, and bring your friends and take your selfies um, in front of pre-done beautiful backdrops like you're having your own photo shoot. Um, when I was there, it's, I'm going to guess it's still there because they're pretty big. They had a giant bird cage, um, which was fantastic. Um, but yeah, I guess they'll be just changing up the backdrops, but it was super fun. I'm looking forward to it. If you go, I guarantee you'll have like social media fodder for like months, <laughs> for months, because there's so many backdrops, you won't be able to post all your pictures for like days and days. Um, just a side note, I just put this um, on, well, maybe I'll do this one too. I just put on um, some of the, um, the primer on my hand with shadow on it and without. So if you can see what's going on in my hand here, the top of my hand has primer and the bottom of my hand does not. And I put the um, uh, burgundy and then the paranormal onto the primer and blended it down. So you can see the difference of when it's on skin that has primer. Um, you don't have to use this primer that we're using. You can use your favorite eyeshadow primer. If you need tips on which ones, I can <laughs> tell you my face. But any primer is going to help it stick to your skin better. Naked skin won't always hold on to a loose pigment or any eyeshadow. Any eyeshadow at all on dry skin is just not going to hold as much. Um, I mean, uh, but if you put this on, you can see the color bleed popping a lot more. So I just wanted to show. Because this, look at, look at color. Look at, <laughs> look, I love hey. it. Look at pretty colors. Oh, look at my nails too, by the way. Um, pretty cool. Yes, we went to Amy's on Chapachula's. Shout out Amy's mm -hmm. on Chapachula's. It's a dip. Oh, it is? Yeah. I think like I've still never done that. Well, it was my first time. Oh, you that. dipped? Your first dip? Mm -hmm. It's my first mm -hmm. dip, you guys. Oh, yeah, I forgot about my, okay, all right, yeah. I'll do my little waterline. Um, I'm just adding a little concealer under my oh, eye Lord. for the little fallout that I had, but I really barely put any. Um, and yeah, woo, it's happening. It's happening. Um, if anyone else is just tuning in, say hi so we know you're here. Greg's here. He's like, good to see y'all having fun. Hi, Greg. Um, Hello, Glitter Greg. Glitter Greg. Um, and, uh, go there. So my eyes are so uneven, so I keep looking in the camera to be like, this one, I feel like I like the shape and then I look and I'm like, oh, they're uneven, but that's okay because again, I'm a head load at the Mulan Rouge. I actually work in the basement of the Mulan Rouge. So. <laughs> I like how this character is developing. <laughs> yeah. Now she's in the basement. Yeah, right, yeah. Now she's a washer She woman. sells cigarettes. <laughs> a very glamorous. <laughs> Cigars, cigarillos. She was once on stage. Yeah, but she broke her pelvis. I don't know. What she, is. <laughs> she broke her pelvis on stage during the can can. I actually did break my pelvis during a split in sixth grade. So what? You can do that if you do a split too fast. Easy. Yeah. Um. That's insane. It sounded like this, y'all. Nope. <laughs> no. Uh -huh. No. See, I, I, I take my, my, uh, my real life backstory to create my character. Oh my god, I love it. See, yes, you got to build that in. All right, I need to stop laughing because I'm doing, <laughs> gonna do waterline eyeliner, and I'm like, I don't need to help Midori, and then I stab myself in the eye. Um, hello, Katie, are you the wig washer at Mulan? Oh wow, yeah, that would be gross. The wig <laughs> I don't even wash my own wigs at all. She's the Merkin washer. <laughs> oh, Merkin washer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, Andrea's good with backstory too. Every time we make up some character, I'm like, what's my name? She always has like a great name for it. So when I'm done, Andrea, you'll have to name me. Yes, we all gonna need names. We all gonna need names. Don't <laughs> let us know if you leave because we're, <laughs> we're looking forward to the names. So I'm gonna get a sip of water. <laughs> I'm still here. Oops, sorry. All right. Gotta lean in. Oh, hello. <laughs> Danielle, you're always like, hello, hi there. <laughs> So I'm experimenting with laying primer on top of my 
all done I because I want to add like I don't know like I want to do something lighter like glitter or just a lighter um uh pigment both there it is. Cool. I knew it was here somewhere. I knew it. Yay. We need some tunes, y'all. Crystal? <laughs> Crystal. Yeah, Crystal. Oh, yeah. Crystal's the singer. Oh, are you? Oh. <laughs> yes. Um, are you asking me to actually like put on music or no, are you actually <laughs> sing? Because I want you to actually sing. Sing something from the Moulin Rouge. Actually sing. Because that's all. <laughs> um, Andrea I said, I just played game. with that, Danielle. I was super happy with the results, but leaned, maybe, but learned, maybe. I think she's talking about putting the eyeshadow primer on top, I guess. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of this um, HD powder before I put the rest of my eyeshadow on in advance of any fall because it'll also keep a nice clean palette. So, in case any fall happens, I can dust it off more easily. So. so apparently I'm doing a, a, a glitter cut crease because that's <laughs> where this is going. That's the direction mine is going. Um, Andrea said, I learned that our uh, our liner on after, put on liner, dang, autocorrect. Okay. Um, so she it learned what I'm doing right now, which is, oh, right, I forgot to put on liner. Or maybe she just said she put it on before she did the... I don't know. I mean, you can do either. There's no rule. Um, I've done both. Uh, you know, usually I put on liner after eyeshadow um, because then I can kind of see what I'm doing better and because shadow is going to cover up your eye liner anyway. Um, but, all, but if you're trying to do like a super quick get me ready, whatever, you can put your lashes on first. <laughs> And then do your eyeshadow and then do your eyeliner and the because no one's gonna see what's underneath there anyway. It's not as clean of a look, like in terms of if you look up close, you can, you know, it's not as slick of a look, but um it is faster and you can get it done. In my opinion. Yeah, sometimes I do when I actually when I rarely do very good eyeliner and then put, I put on lashes, I'm like, ah, oh, I just covered that. So I was like, Yeah, yeah it's fine. And you, just, <laughs> you can just add more. I mean, if you've covered it up, just put more on. Yeah, and I just it's not like there's a shortage of glitter in the world. No, there's or not. Stop on by the glitter buffet HQ. Yeah. Only certain, uh, only certain colors. We had some people. We are uh, some micro finds that we finished uh, the film on. So there's no more, no more in the world. Unfortunately, oh. we had some drag queens that were like, "We need smoke ASAP." Oh gosh, there's oh, no more smoke. So which which colors finished? Smoke, smoke, what else? smoke and um, what else, Danielle? Is it Silver AB that we're getting close to being done with? And Ruby Red also we're getting close to being done with. That's the thing about, mm -hmm. you know, glitter sometimes is they're cut out so of the film. Awesome, and when the film's gone. All right. Andrea said I put liner on before the cut crease, but the concealer covered the liner. There we go. Oh. Got you. Gotcha. Okay. So... I'm getting some of this aubergine in. I'm using the same eyeshadow brush I've been using. I just switched to the next darker color. And then I started using the edge of it to follow my eye socket bone right around there underneath the brow bone. Um, I follow the lower line again for the this line, for the underneath line along the cheekbone. Where's the side of my face? I follow that for this part. So I'm kind of going outward and upward here. And then I follow this. A ring of the eye socket here um, and I put more in the outer V and then I blended it out into the uh, above the eye so we'll, I'm gonna add more color and blend but this is with some aubergine added in I like it I love an aubergine I mean for food as well as for color um, Andrea says she learned today there's a raspberry shortage what favorite like, berry on raspberries or on something that's cut, that's a pigment. <laughs> Let me know if I need to panic. I love raspberries. No, I, mean, I do. Probably raspberries are one of my favorites. I don't know. A good blueberry is pretty good too. Call Carol raspberries. I feel like raspberries. Really good. 
Raspberries. I had a baby today rice. that was giving me raspberries. Am I the only Carol Channing fan here? Raspberries. I, I, no, I actually caught that reference. Yes. So I feel Thank really you. proud of myself. Thank you. You're from, in my uh, brain. Thoroughly modern Millie. A fantastic which is film. A fantastic, but um, almost laughably racist. <laughs> 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 I watched it since I was a kid. So what, I what was in the. Oh, wait, oh yes. Oh, yeah. Yellow that. face? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Yes. Oh, so much. But the fashion's face. in that. I mean, that's an older movie. <laughs> but the fashion. <laughs> I, I absolutely like fell out laughing over one part where they uh because it was the the people that were in yellow face that were kidnapping all the women or whatever and there was like a headline and it was like white women being sold as slaves it was like why do you have to specify if they're white is it not important it was 1960 back then i think it was like <laughs> was it the 50s or the 60s probably they were also 60s, pretending yeah. it was the 20s it was supposed to be fake twenties, right? But it's still so. So funny. they made it extra yeah. racist, yeah. so you knew. Let it was wait. What movie it was is this? Early really modern movie. Really. <laughs> well, it was also the days of Breakfast at Tiffany's. Might have been made around the same time, so they were all. It was society. I'm not making excuses for them, but you no. know. But the fashion. You just but I will work that movie for its fashions. And some Carol Channing, because that Carol Channing number in that movie. Oh my God. Jazz that, Baby. Yes. Jazz Baby is a number, okay? I was, I was I've really done that number that. for Dragon. I thought about doing it myself, but I was like, I need to learn this. this you awesome. should do it. It is fan it's a fantastic number. Jazz Baby. She's singing. <laughs> Little Jazz <laughs> Baby, that's me. <laughs> It's a great number. Oh, it's a great thing, baby. Um, so, Majori, tell us about. So, the um, the Big Wig Ball is uh, put on by the Sylvain Society, which is the young <gasps> professionals yes. um, of the uh, operatic uh, Greater New Orleans Operatic Arts. I, something like okay, <laughs> the um, the young professionals of the Opera Association here in New Orleans, mm -hmm. and um, and what the Big Wig Ball does is the money that's raised there sends over two thousand students a year to see the opera in New Orleans, which is amazing. So have you talked to any of these students who, you know, have first experience? I've honestly never seen an opera, so I am excited. <gasps> yeah, because I'm, yeah, and I'm really, really, really excited about 2022. Yeah, you're in town. Yeah, well, I was I was excited, you know, it's the big, big ball before the world shut down, and I was like, I can't wait to go see the opera. So 2022 is coming up, and that is this, um, they're doing uh, La Boheme, oh, and yeah. that is why this, I think, I believe, right? Yeah, I think, and that's why they were doing this theme. Um, so have you, you know, had any experience talking to some of these students after the first time they'd seen opera? I'd love to hear any, like, stories. I don't get to work with the kids myself. Those are all educational programs that they run with their instructors and the people who run the programs. But I've been um, working with Big Big Ball for um uh, years. I guess we did the first Big Big Ball, so I guess I've been doing Big Big Ball since we started, and Sylvain Society since we started. Um, so Sylvain Society is named after their founder, and um, we used to have it at the um, uh, at the um, Opera uh, Guild home, and um, we've been doing it now for a few years, and it's raised um, money, like we said, for the educational program, which is great. It's been sending kids to go see um, to look, see the opera as well as, I, I don't know if they do other educational programs as well, but it funds for the children to go see the opera programs and they do a special day that's just for the students to go. Um, it's really exciting and um, I think it's just fantastic to get any kids interested in the arts for any reason. Um, I also think that if more, you know, just like how you know, people are into Hamilton now. If more people understood the dramas and the backstories of the stories in the opera, you would actually be um, quite interested. But also just because of the history, the music, and everything going on, and um, I think it's a great, uh, great uh, experience for the kids to go to, and it's a great way to party with a purpose. Um, so um, I love doing it with them. We've been doing it uh, at the Opera Guild home for years, and now that's our first chance to do it at Art Amazing. So that's been really fun uh, to get on board with them and be over um, in their space. We did that that uh, photo shoot with Fringe and Co over there and had a great time. And that was my first time at Art Amazing. So we're really excited. Yeah. So tickets are still available. I cannot get to the computer right now to link you, but I will do it in the comments before we um, are done. Um, but 
Yeah, we definitely have them tagged on our story. Um, if you happen to be there. And we'll be there too with the Glitter Buffet. And the Glitter Buffet experience will be there. And Danielle, do you have your costume ready? Do you know what you're doing? No. It's going to be <laughs> called Go to the Costume Closet tomorrow night when I get home or maybe mm -hmm. first thing in the morning Friday and kind of figure it out. But I've got a wig planned and we'll see how she turns out. Um, but, um, but yeah, other notes on the big wig ball, if you've never been, um, don't be intimidated and think this is like a stuffy ball that you have to be stuffy at and wear something formal. This is a fun party. It is more of a costume event than a ball. You can certainly wear ball attire if you want to, but it's really encouraged to be a costumed event and a fun event. Um, you know, we like to you know think of it more of that kind of fun vibe atmosphere rather than something that you feel like you have to be um you know more structured or more stuff yeah so um when we've done it in the past we've always been able to have the same fun dj one year we had the dancing cop um if anyone's familiar with the awesome dancing cop um he's really great and um we have a bunch of the crews show up to help us we have the mary antoinettes who are with us every year i'm also a mary but um, I will be there as a judge this time, being judgy. Uh, but the Marys will be there, and we have um, them every year helping us do stuff. So you'll be able to see the Marys and all of their wigs and glory. And um, uh, we have some fantastic entries. So you can wear something as simple as a slight simple party wig that you like to wear, or you could go all out and get a, you know, a real crazy wig done you could go to fifi's and find something fantastic you could whip up something of your own you could find um just some wig that you like the color of and stick some flowers in it um covered in glitter i mean you'd be surprised how much flowers and glitter can cover almost anything and still look good um so don't be intimidated and think like this isn't this is too much or this is you know something that you um you don't have the creativity for or anything it's such a low-key in some ways fun thing you can show up and you know yeah you can really come as you come as you are you know as far as like you don't have don't be intimidated if you don't have like the perfect cabaret slash moulin rouge costume just you don't have to be have fun you don't have to be on theme either. Um, uh, I won't be on theme, and I'm one of the judges. <laughs> and I'll be very not on theme, but I'll be doing, like, my own theme. Um, so you you can do your own thing, too. You can do the theme, which is super fun, or you can do something else. Um, they'll give away awesome uh, awards for the winners of the Big Wig Ball, including the winner of the Big Wig Ball gets to be the big wig for next year, and that's pretty awesome. So um, there's a lot of fun stuff, and you get to meet other really cool, awesome people. So um, it's a really cute event, and I think that you should go. I, I think you should go. I'm I'm excited. So we um, in 2020. I get wait no 2019. What is time? I guess it was 2020. What is time? Because <laughs> we had it right. Because it was Mardi Gras. Okay. <laughs> um, we kind of had we our our theme was already kind of Danielle we, and. Um, and me and Anna, um, had, we did a little theme where we did, because it was New Orleans Legends, so we did kind of a Storyville, like Danielle was our madam, and we worked at a Storyville kind of um, brothel vibe is what we had. So I like had the perfect outfit what I wore that year is would be perfect for this year. And I'm like, well, I can't wear the same, obviously so. But I figured out what I'm wearing, so I'm pretty I'm jazzed. And I am wearing a big wig this time. I, last time my wig was not as big to my liking i will be wearing a big wig this year which is not i mean a lot of people just wear wigs they're not necessarily huge but I'm, right they don't have to be big big yeah. is just a euphemism right is, am, I, am i using a correct word uh i mean it's just well i would say it's an interpretation you can use it as a euphemism <laughs> um it's an interpretation you can you know you can be a big wig or you can wear a big wig or you can just wear a wig or you can wear a headpiece. Um, some of the winners of last uh, prizes have been wigs that included really interesting headpieces. Uh, maybe something in the decor of the wig made the statement that got people's attention. 
So um, maybe you'll be wearing a wig that you like that you just put something um, seasonal in the decor of it. So, you know. Pretty yeah, actually, I think Monique, who won last year, oh, yeah. didn't have a wig on, did she? She had a or maybe I mean she just had, had an amazing, she had amazing head headpiece. headpiece. So that yeah. was really that was it. I'm sure oh, there was so wig cool. in there. Maybe there were, yeah. But still, yeah. yeah. It was all about the head. It was piece. about the headpiece. So and then my husband dressed as our bartender. Like he just dressed like an old timey bartender and wore his tiny old man <laughs> wig. <laughs> so because he's like, if y'all work at Storeville, I'll be I'll yeah. be a bartender. I'm I love it. He like stayed in character all the time. Um, all right, I'm gonna go for the blush that we talked about. I'm gonna try some. So start with the tiniest dot. The tiniest. Big, and if you're dot. not sure, test it on your hand first and play with the color before you put it on your face. Um, That's smart. Yeah, good cool. idea. Jesus, I'm, <laughs> I'm going, going for, for it because I work. I work in the basement at the Mulan Road. The Mulan Road. We're great washing the wigs. <laughs> Yeah, Why do I have this accent? I, where did I come from? Why am I in France? Um, <laughs> France by way of Jersey. Yeah, right. <laughs> I got on a boat. I woke I up on a boat. boat. I don't know what happened. Where am I? Um, uh, Rachel, um, just tuning in. So I'm going to need detailed after pics of these because I missed most of this. Well, we did. I did give you a shout out, Rachel, about your birthday coming up. This is my sister um, and her 40 Hi, coming up. Rachel. So we said that these looks could work for her birthday, too, although I'm going to look a little more grizzled. No, I'm going to look a, a little more uh, Lady of the Night than I will on your party, which I'll, still, I'll look like Lady of the Afternoon. Probably, lady so. of the Afternoon. <laughs> That's me. I'm the Lady of the Afternoon. <laughs> She's like, what's going on in my bio? I got to get to bed early. <laughs> Let's wrap this up by like 6.37. I rise approximately at 11 a.m. Sun setting. Sun setting, sir. Look, I make mistakes, but I do them on time. Right, the afternoon see. is my, my time to shine. That's when I thrive. I'm not a morning person and I'm not a night person, but if you catch me in the afternoon, that's my time to shine. Uh, let's see. Andrea says, Katie is a former performer who's disgruntled because someone stole her spotlight. Oh, yes. When I, my pelvis broke and then Midori came in, the ingenue. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> your pelvis broke. That's something. Yeah. That's why, and, uh, you're, that's why you're watching markets now. Yeah, that's why I'm down in the basement. You gotta, be, you, gotta be, you gotta be laying down or something. I don't know. And uh, yeah, I just walk with a limp. <laughs> I've got a steel pelvis from a previous uh, 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 operation. Oh my gosh, you stole my no. my spotlight yeah. and yeah. my injury. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I stole it. A lot of character development. Yeah. Yeah. You're just tuning in. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, single white female. Um, I'm going in with uh, the um, obsidian on a teeny tiny brush. Well, it's not that small, but it's a smaller little brush. It's this little guy. He's also an eyeshadow brush. Uh, the number has worn off of him, but it's from Bedellium, and it's uh, another uh, natural bristle brush. It's a very um, rounded and flat brush, but it's great for getting a little darker pigment in those outer corners which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a little bit of the black, put it in the outer corner underneath the lashes and in the uh, corners of the V. So when we do a, a, you know, a contoured eye like this, we wanna have uh, light, medium, dark, dark in the outer V, um, which is how I usually do it. Um, so I'm just gonna take some of that black pigment and just pop it in there. And I'm placing it rather than brushing it. When I first wanna place the pigment and get it in there, um, first, I want to see where it's going to land. So first, what I'll do is I take up a little bit of the pigment. Um, and then I'll tap it off to make sure that I get excess off. And then I want to just place it next to the eye where I'm going to have it live. And then I'll blend it and, you know, smudge it or smoke it out. But I want to place it first because where you stick it is going to have the most uh, amount of pigment in the darkest color first. Hello. Hello. So I remember Midori told me to <laughs> try on my hand first. So I, I did the lipstick and I was like, oh, it's it's not, I didn't do a ton. And then I put way too much, but that's okay. I'm going to leave it. I don't know if y'all can see. It's more than I would normally wear, but again, you know. Oh, that's not too much. Well, I'm kind of covering some with my blush. Yeah. I'll do that sometimes when it's a bit, yeah, it actually looks good now. And I'll do a little highlighter too. Um, but I'm a blush person though. I like blush. I mean, once you have your whole face on, it, it, it doesn't seem like too much. And I love some blush. Also, if you're doing 
less of a makeup look and you just have your blush or bronzer on, we'll mascara and lip, live for it. Live, you just look alive and fresh and you don't need to do as heavy other makeup because it just looks alive and fresh. And that's what most people want to look like. They just, we will wake up and they're like, I look like the living dead. Put some color in your cheeks, baby. Yeah, that's one thing I think I didn't do enough. Like when I was um, like a, a younger, I didn't ever really, I'm like, I don't really need blush. Or sometimes I just tap my lipstick and tap it on my cheek. Well, of course you were, okay. you were, you know, we're all babies. Babies can do that. I didn't used to wear mascara for years or blush, but you know what? You know, 16 year olds can never do that, but because I'm only 17. All right. That's cute. That's cute. How are you doing over, Danielle? I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm about to do some lips. I um, did the disco ball and the so sugar on my lid. So super pretty. Just got a kind of little combo effect going on. Andrea says, I never use blush. I have a lot of red in my face. Am I weird for not wearing blush? I'll say I'll let Majori give oh, her no. advice. But... You don't have to wear a blush. What do you say? You have red in your face? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, you don't have to wear blush. I find also like um, a lot of times when people have like either rosacea or red in their face, they um, uh, they both want to take the red down, but they but they once you take it down, they feel very washed out. So um, uh, if you want color in your cheeks or you want to bring a if you want to bring attention to your bone structure, but you don't want to do a blush look, you could also reach for a highlighter, pop the highlighter on top of your cheek. It will both reflect some light and reflect light away from the redness of the look. It'll also give the highlight to the top of the cheek and the attention to the top of the cheekbone and the brow bone. But just make sure that anything shimmery that you're putting on your face is really only going to sit on bone structure. Top of the cheek, cheekbone right here, brow bone, uh, places like that. If you put shimmer all over your whole face, you're going to lose all of your bone structure and you're just going to reflect everything. But so if you put just a little bit of highlighter on top of your cheek, you'll still have, uh, if you want the redness there and you want to have some of that rosiness, you'll still have the highlight on top of the cheek. You can do that. Or you can bring in a bronzer and just do a little bronzer under the cheek here. Or you could do, you could do the bronzer thing where you hit the bronzer all the way on top of the tops of the cheeks and the nose here. So it looks like you've got natural sun and tan over here. And that will negate some of the natural redness because it'll, um, it'll you know, mask each other out. Um, or you can put the bronzer underneath as like a contour. Just make sure if you're using bronzer for a contour, then it should be a matte because it should never shimmer in a shadow. A shadow cannot shimmer. It will reflect light. Contour uh -huh. is a bronzer to sit on top of here. This kind of bronzer can be shimmery because this part of our face, we want to reflect light. Shadows, we don't want to reflect light. Um, in in a contouring, the, the color that is, is whiter than white, the color that's whiter than white is something reflective. So um, if you want something to be lighter than white, it's reflective. So don't use a shimmery bronze. It's the opposite of what you need. So same thing when you're doing contours with your eyes. If you want the the black parts of your eyes to be absolutely black, then use a matte black rather than a shimmer black. Tips, tips, tips. tips. So many tips. Pepper glitter pants. Tips, tips. Said, Sorry, I missed. You missed so many tips, Pepper. Um, Pepper. I love your name, Pepper. <laughs> That's my mom, Pepper glitter pants. Hi, Pepper. <laughs> um, yeah, so is that why sometimes you'll see people whose contour looks a little muddy, muddled, muddied because it's they might be using a shimmer? Um, yeah, I mean, that's one reason. If you are using a shimmery bronze uh, as a shadow, it will be a color, but it'll also want to reflect light. So in pictures, it's confused because it'll be dark, but also shimmery. So um, you just make sure. And if you don't know where to get like a matte bronzer, just get the pressed powder color that's two or three shades darker than your own skin. Uh, usually usually it's gonna be a warmer tone, but uh, you know, reach for the color that's in your skin tone is usually gonna give the best contour effect. But yeah, if you're doing it for bronzer, you can reach for a warmer tone, but mattes, 
shimmers. That makes some sense. If you need a little um, a reminder of anything of these, just um, you know, message me on one of my makeup pages or whatever, and I'm happy to give you any other tips. So you can so practice using lipstick as blush on the back of my hand first. Yeah. So like just a little dot and then mm -hmm. what do you use to blend it out? Fingertips. Or, I mean, you could use a little kabuki brush. I I'll, What I'll use on um, clients is like a, a blender brush, like a kabuki brush. So I like this kind of size personally. This is anything bigger than this is hard for me to manage. So this medium sized kabuki brush um, either be called a kabuki or a blender brush. It's usually colored like this black and then lighter on the tips to show you that it's denser and then less dense at the tips. And you can use these to sort of drag and blend a color. Um, so those will work really well. I use that on gel or cream blush on people. Um, or you can just use your fingertips and then tap, tap, and then move it like in a tapping, blending motion. And where do we put highlighter on our cheeks? Highlighter on your cheeks only goes on the top of the cheekbone. So when we're talking about finding that lower angle of your eyeshadow before like this, move uh -huh. the brush and, and sit it right on top of your cheekbone. This line that I'm making, that's the line of highlighter that you want. And it should go probably no further than um, where, where you see your eye falling right here, your iris and your pupil. Anything further than that, and it's going to scoop in front of your face and be like, oh, why is it so shimmery in front? It's going to be, it's going to start to highlight this scooping area of your face. And I'm not sure that's what you want. But if you if you keep it right above on top of the cheek here, you'll get this nice, and a little bit on the brow bone, you'll have this nice um, highlight and light area around the eye, as well as picking up the cheekbone. And the, the idea also is that you'll be pulling the cheekbones outward and upward, and you'll notice the bone structure around the eyes and the cheekbone more, which is not terrible. Okay, well, so I'm putting on the um, Gilded Garnet uh, Longwear Lipstick, or um, the Shimmer, and before I'm actually I'm decided if I'm going to put the glitter on because I started putting um, that uh, the uh, burgundy um, to kind of darken it up and I really like what's happening. Um, it's kind of it's very like I like gothy. it. Yeah, so I'm just kind <laughs> very of gothy. It is, but it's very pretty. It's very you. vampy. Uh, it is very vampy. I really like it. So I'm just kind of working it out like um kind of like as if. I did an ombre effect with the red in the center, but instead I'm kind of doing the I'm like doing the opposite. I'm doing the dark on the outside and leaving the red um, uh, shimmer lipstick on the inside. Um, I love this. This has been my new favorite thing to do, especially when we were wearing masks all the time. I would do a long wear lipstick and then a pigment on top to change because I only have a few long wears that are really good under masks. Um, ours are really great under masks. Um, they're also, I find that uh, the K KDV is what it is now, or KVD mm -hmm. brand is good too. But other than that, I couldn't, I didn't get to really wear lipstick. So I, I would change my lipsticks out by putting a pigment on top of it. Um, <laughs> 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 so funny. Something's happening. There's a lot. I know I said put like a dot. There's a lot. Like a lot of dots. Just like one. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens. This is what, like, what lip club is all about. <laughs> this is what lip club is all about. Is Chris, you want some cocoa water? And she runs <laughs> okay. away. Uh, funny. Um, I'm also misting with this Too Faced uh, primer water. Um, people use this as a primer beforehand. I never do. I use it all the time, but I use it. Um, I'll use it sometimes beforehand, uh, or, and then as well as it's a light setting spray afterwards. But it's a great replenishing primer and setting spray. But I find this is great all the time. It has um, <laughs> coconut water and probiotic skin revivers. Danielle, do it something fast because it's gonna set on your cheek. You need to like, you know what? Mix in a little. What are you using? Your own finger? Because this stuff is strong. <laughs> Use your concealer to blend it out. <laughs> like one of those dots, Danielle. One of those dots would do. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm so <laughs> maybe you didn't hear me say that when I was talking to me, but if you are going to use lipstick as your gel blush, use the tiniest dot like a freckle and try it on your hand first to see how much pigment your particular lipstick has and try it on your hand first to see how much it's going to um, do and then uh, and then uh, dot it on your face. Just a dot. <laughs> But it's a little, it's not bad. What, I don't know what you did on that side. I just kept on blending. Oh, wow. You know, blend, 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 man. I'll tell you, wow, that looks really pretty. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that side looks really pretty. I'm telling you, the blending, the blending works if you stick with it. Girl, it looks really pretty. You know what? It is so fun to get ready. With I know. That's why we did. So that's why we did look club because really the getting ready is the most fun part we've decided um, because we didn't, it did take me a second to get used to, sorry, doing the um, the look clubs that I would be so all ready and nowhere to go. But after I got used to, okay, I'm going to take this full face of makeup off. Cause usually I have on makeup for like 13 hours and then I don't want to take it off cause it still looks good. But after these look clubs at first, I was kind of like, no, I hate to take it off, but you just take a selfie. And then you're like, actually, that was really all I needed. Yeah. <laughs> I just needed one picture. Honestly, when the, <laughs> when the pictures are done, that's the purpose. Mm -hmm. That is the purpose. Yeah, we definitely realized that. And so, and my sister, for her 40th birthday, she were, got a hotel in downtown Baton Rouge. She's like, I really just, I'm excited to get ready. I'm like, of course, that's the best part. They're getting ready. Yes. Um, I'm using a little bit of gel liner now to um, uh, freshen up the eyeliner that I covered over with eyeshadow. So I'm just basically, I'm just redoing my eyeliner like we talked about. I'm going to redo the eyeliner. Um, and then I was going to put some glitters on and then um, maybe uh, think about doing some of those, drawing some lines with the glitter lines and stuff. Should we do some lines, Danielle? And then I was going to maybe, um, oh, let me do a lip and then we can pop crystal and do some shapes. Shapes, shapes, shapes. Um, but do you ever do you you like to draw the little lines with the glitter, don't you? I'm not the best, just at like geometric lines, or I'm not the best at that. I mean, I can do it, but I just don't know. Sometimes I'm like, like I, I did a um a Viking look, and it took me so long to be like, because I have so many like cute goth girls that just do little lines on their face, and and I'm like, oh, this should be easy. I'm like, I do, it needs. It's it's hard for me to be. Um, it's not very deliberate. You just kind of have to look and go. Oh, do like this here, 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 and a dot. Like I don't know. I'm not great at it. I like overthink it or something. So I'm you're excited. overthinking it. Overthink it. Maybe you should do a look club about it, and then you won't be. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you do a look club about it? <laughs> it's like a makeup journal. I need to I need to look club this out. <laughs> I'm having some thoughts. I think mm -hmm. I need to look club it out. Okay, I did too much. I got excited and I did too much of my um of the burgundy. So I'm just gonna come back in and add a little more um of the gilded garnet, and then actually I might put some glitter on just in the middle. Somebody asked me today, how do you get your eyeliner to stay on and not raccoon or whatever? And um, the one of the easiest ways is just to use some of the same color eyeshadow that you're using as your eyeliner and set it with that. So I'm using the same, uh, I just use black eyeliner. You can use brown or black, but I'm using black to set it. So I'm taking the same tiny brush and I'm just gonna touch it against my um, liner to set it and it'll hold in any, I mean, it'll absorb any moisture or oils throughout the day. So it'll, and I'm just only using it in the outer corners. And uh, then I'll also take the edge and just give it a little smoky smudge. Um, but that'll also help keep your liner in place and keep it from, uh, you know, raccooning out or, or smoking out unintentionally. If that's not what you're going for. And this is, um, oh my God, I have some cute palettes here, but they're all covered in makeup. Um, mm -hmm. This is my Anastasia palette. Um, it's the Alyssa Edwards. That's a good one. But you know what I've been in love with lately? This um, sugar pill little mini palette. Oh, I love that one. It's yeah, and it has these such cute colors in it. Oh my god, it's so cute. Neons and brights. Hard to find good pigmented ones. Okay. I think this is a good start. <laughs> so I think what I want to put on next is litars and lines. Uh, 
There you go. But yeah. you, you need a brushy? Um, I'm going to clean my hand off right now because it looks like I just oh, like you have, um, Crystal has the baby wipes with myself and the baby. Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> oh, thank y'all. All right, I'm going to... If you're just tuning in, hello. I like Look Club It Out. Oh, Pepper, sorry, I thought you were already gone because you said you had to wake up early. Um, but if you are just tuning in, say hello. We are um, going to do just a little bit more, but we're towards wrapping it up of our um, our cabaret soiree look club. Um, and uh, Midori is about to do some some uh, glitters and crack gra- gra- blah, blah, blah. <gasps> And it's the powdered oh sugar. <laughs> it is it is like heaven. Oh my gosh. I just touched the brush and touched it to my eye and look. I know, isn't it pretty? It's super pretty. Wow. Oh, this is my new favorite. I don't know why I haven't been using this more. This is now my life. Yeah, powdered sugar. Powdered sugar, yeah. It's powdered sugar, gin fizz, and um What's the other one, Danielle? There's a, we have a gold that um, uh, gilded lady, sure. gilded yep. lady. They're like they're like a glitter air. Like if glitter had a baby with air, <laughs> it feels like nothing. I literally just touched the brush to it and then touched my face, and it's like, oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not fully blended, but I feel like you need to see these spiracles. So pretty. Claws. Yeah. Okay, let's put this on real quick. Oh, 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 studio audience applause. Yes! Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh, yeah. Back to the ball. (laughs) Do I need to adjust this? Oh, Oh my gosh. I'll just come down here. Who is wearing this on Friday? You? Who's wearing this? Oh, wow. I love Danielle, it. are you going to wear that? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Danielle. Well, now I'm giving it away. So. <laughs> Still. I w- does it spin? It does not. No. Um, but it, it has, it, it's it's sturdy because I wore it to a Mardi Gras ball last year. What is that right? Two years? I don't know. Two years ago. Mardi Gras last year, so two years ago. I don't know. No, we did it. Whatever. Anyway, last year Mardi Gras was the thing. Okay, so yeah, I wore it right after that. Whatever. Absent fall then. So again, I got. I I already. I was like, oh man, I had the perfect outfit. I wore it. So there you go. And I'm gonna um, I'm gonna bring my face a little bit closer just so y'all can see. I don't know how. Let's see. What are I just? That is adorable. So. I'm, I'm I love it. Done. Thank you. Um Midori's still on hat number one. Oh I have yeah. <laughs> I came oh, you with look more so hats. pretty, Danielle. Thank you. So do you. you. Yeah, you look like burlesque. I mean, I did we are doing cabaret, but very um so pretty. Very pretty. Okay, let me see if I can get this lip going. All right. Red lips are always the challenge because you want to get them perfect. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's just me. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's Majori Hour. I'm going to come steal another hat. Or if you want to just grab me that black hat. That one on. um, I'm just going in without a lip liner uh, because this has so much pigment that I really Thank don't you. really need one. Uh, it really holds its own. You can use a lip liner with it. You don't have to. But, uh, Really, when I use this, when I use the electric lip, I don't really use a lip liner. No. Never had a problem. Oh, nice. <laughs> I don't feel like I don't feel like this bleeds or feathers no, no. too much. It's never bled on me, and it's always held really strong. It's a good, good, solid stain long hold. Oh, I like that hat. <laughs> Is that part of the yeah. costume, possibly for Friday? Um, this is just one of Midori's hats, but we did decide that this is my uh, wig washing hat. <laughs> Let's see. Bianca says, I heart the hat. I'm assuming she means the beautiful one that Danielle made. Danielle made that, by the way, if you, if anyone ever needs a headdress. Yes. Danielle. Um, and that is for sale. That Oh, yes. In fact, that oh. Milan Rouge one is for sale. Somebody needs- that before Friday. Yeah. And Lisa Walsh had just tuned in on my lunch break. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Lisa is in Australia, I believe. 
Um, so thank you. Yeah, because it's your lunch break and it's 9 35 p.m. So that checks out. Um, so we are creating characters. Um, that now I'm really, I've gone to the dark side for sure with this hat. I, really, I like <laughs> it. I like it. Really it can be like, can I try this one? <laughs> yeah, okay, let's see. This We change our characters so quickly. Here we go. Um, yes, Andrea, that hat is for sale. Daniel has so many. In fact, I could go grab another one. Oh, I, now I feel. Ooh. Well, I like you just that got one. your back. You just I got your job so back. so classy. Like, I come like, please, Mr. Can I, wait. Uh, can I, have can I be back on the front seat on the. In front of the lats, your pelvic uh, uh, <laughs> reconstruction surgery was a success. And back and back in those days, it was just someone hit me with a hammer. Yeah, and then, so the leeching worked. Um, Bianca says it's for sale. Danielle, I need to contact you ASAP. Yes, yes it is. Do. You better hurry. I should bring it back. <laughs> Now, <laughs> now, normally when Danielle and I, if somebody's done earlier, then we just keep putting on more makeup. But now that there's hats, I'm just going to put on those. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I can just keep on watching. I the, I love this top hat. It's so cool. Uh-oh. I, I may wear a top hat. On, I really don't know exactly what I'm going to wear on Friday, but what's going to happen is I'm going to go to my closet and I'm just going to start putting stuff on and... I'm going to try to be super, super fabulous. Danielle, there's a bidding word between Bianca and Andrea for the Mulan Rouge hat. Not really, but kind of, kind of. So whoever messages her first. All right. So, well, now I'll just be a model for I love this But hat. the problem is, is, is I don't remember how much the Moulin Rouge headdress is. Um, yeah, and but I know it's right on the side of the thing. Let me. Oh, okay. Let me look. It's, These it's 200. These mirrors or are best so offer. <laughs> I put on a different one. We keep catching a lot. Oh, those colors are them. fabulous. I really love how y'all, I really, really wish I would have had paranormal here because it's so good. I'm going to definitely wear paranormal on what's the, what, what's the date? Friday. Friday. <laughs> Friday. Yeah. None of us know what to do. I'm definitely going to wear paranormal on Friday. Um, Bianca is asking Danielle, what's your contact info? Yeah. Oh. Um, well, she can just reach out through Electra. Yeah, just message us on the Electra. This, on this page, you can just message us on face, on the Facebook Messenger. And, um, and, and then we can send her just a PayPal in, invoice. All right. Um, and then also my nephew says to me. Ooh, <laughs> that one is good. And I actually, yeah, That's I just put it on. Moulin Rouge. It actually is. Oh, I, yeah. I'm just going to oh, sell all these right now. Oh, oh, can you get yourself in frame more? I'll look for you. Yeah, look at that. This beautiful queen of hearts. Go down more so they can see the whole top of it. Look how pretty. <laughs> I it love really looks really good. I don't know if you're <laughs> catching this, but look how these are cut. It's like a 3D. You can see right through this heart. It's so cute. Now we're just selling headdresses. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, hey, if you don't have anything to wear on Friday. <laughs> okay, my look, I think, oh, unless I'm going to put more glitter on, which might happen, is done. But I wanted to, if we have time to put anything, do we have time to do anything on Crystal or we run out of time? Um, where, how long do you think it would, we're, we're, we're running? <laughs> However long, so I'll go like into an hour and Yeah. Well, we have, <laughs> Crystal, right, let's, such a good let's introduce remember. Crystal and then you can cut us off whenever you want. Um, all right, Crystal, come say hi. Put on a hat. <laughs> Wouldn't it be really cool if you walked off the screen, Katie, and then it came over my shoulder? Oh, right. I know, right? <laughs> that would be so funny. We always try that. It never works. What color um, bolt bomb should I add to this look? I think disco Paranormal. ball. Paranormal. Paranormal is not a bolt bomb. Or phantom, you mean? Oh, phantom. <laughs> phantom? Okay. Phantom. That's phantom. Hello, this I is Crystal. Know. Hello, Crystal. Crystal. Hello. This is Crystal Elaine, my my muse tool. My muse tool muse. They are musies. So um, each other's muses. Oh, yes, phantom. she's my muse and also a good friend here. Um, this is phantom. I don't know if you can see how it, like, it's invisible until you until it hits the light and then and then it uh does its thing so i'm gonna put a little on here oh it looks so pretty 
Oh, um, that's amazing. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's that's I can see paranormal. Right um, excuse me. Is something paranormal happening? <laughs> Um, I love this. Uh, I love this this mm -hmm. gold bomb is also great for things like if you're doing like a mermaid or a fish kind of vibe and you want scales or if you just want like a glitter, but you want like a subtle effect. So you can see right. like up close, it looks like, oh, it's not even glitter. But then when the light hits it, it's that just hello. right. Hello, maestro. <laughs> you don't normally so, create subtle I've and been... glitter, but this definitely hits that box. So I've been considering about? making a body shimmer. Um, the answer is yes. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, yes, we need all of the above. If people want to comment, if you'd like a phantom body shimmer. Well, let's put, um, I was going to put a uh, lipstick on her, but if we have time, I want to all just do a real quick yeah, shape. Yeah, do, do a real quick shape. Do a because, shape. Uh, if we can turn this into a thing. But usually if we're going to do a shape, I'll use something to mask it off. It could just be the edge of a card or a credit card or a piece of paper or cardboard, or you can use a piece of scotch tape. Um, I'm going to make it on her eye. So I'm going to have you just turn your head to the side like that for the fine folks. I'm going to bring you closer because I love you. Hi. Um, and I'm going to put, remember when we we're talking about having angles on the cheek that match the cheek face away from me like that. So I'm going to do that on her. I'm going to make um the face away face for me again i'm just gonna make an angle on her eye look forward i want to follow the lower angle of her own eye Cute. cute it'll only be there for a second it'll only hurt for a minute it won't hurt um all right my love so i'm gonna take a little bit of that um primer since i love it now oh it was like this if it doesn't open from twisting, <laughs> when it opens the other. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna use my fingertips, my lips, go ahead and close your eyes. So, um, uh, since we're using this basically as a stencil, you can go over the edge of it. And I'm just using my finger real lightly to go over the, I'm gonna fill in her eyelid and go over the edge of the tape because the tape is gonna give me that nice corner crease. And I'm gonna go onto the eyelid here. And then what I think I'm going to do for your face is maybe we'll make a shape coming up. Can you do that? Do whatever you want to make. <laughs> Yay. Well, let me say yes to things. <laughs> Just like, yep. We released a butterfly today. Oh, we released a butterfly today and Crystal fed. I, I've been raising butterflies and so Crystal fed Ooh. my butterflies and helped me release it today. Oh, because that's what goes on over here. Just thought I should share that. Um, okay. Well, I just taped your own hair to your head. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, make it stay. Okay, so now we've got primer down. Anywhere we want eyeshadow is where we want primer. So. Um, I'm going to now use our same colors. Great. So real quick, close your eye. Ooh, and Amy a little bit. I'm going to hit that um, highlight first. Beautiful inner corner first because we want that to be the lightest area and I'm just doing it over the first third of her eye and then I'm going to use a little bit of that aubergine um, because we're doing this big um, masked off area I'm actually going to do it all in here so this is going to look like whoa you're filling in all this this is not like a normal contoured eye I'm just going to pack it in here because I'm doing a whole shape. So, so this is like down and dirty fast costume eye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This will be a real, yeah, this will be a great, really fast way to just do a costume eye or just a look or you could do this in any shape too. It doesn't have to be this triangle. You could do a, I've done this with like, we've done looks with Danielle too. We've done like David Bowie, 
you know, lightning bolt eye, we've done triangle stars, we've done everything with this look. So you can use this masking technique for anything. Um, when I go in under her eye, I'm gonna give it a little bit of contour in here. So I'm gonna go underneath her brow. A little bit there. While you're doing that, Danielle, we have clamoring yes, does, and yes to body shimmer. I'll take a gallon of the the phantom um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> body shimmer. Honestly, saying you can sell it by the gallon in a pump container. <laughs> <laughs> what would you name it, though? Uh, oh, all right, Andrea should be on that because she's such a good namer. Like, I think it has to be on theme, you know, because like, you know, phantom, paranormal. Um, oh wait, what's it called when um when you see like when you see the orbs, maybe like that's like a, a ghost thing. The yeah, orbs. Like a wrong container. Something. Okay. And I'm blending the edges of it out with paranormal so that it will blend from light dark to light you know so i'm blending the edges out of there Ooh, and then i'm going to take a little bit of that obsidian and put it in the darkest edge down here along your eye and then if you don't have time enough to do this other eye you just put on an eye patch yeah just put on eye patch. <laughs> i mean eye patches are like really underrated solutions <laughs> for a lot of things <laughs> okay i'm going to give you we don't use them enough <laughs> I'm going to use some of this HD powder to flick it away from you. If you did have an eye patch, you'd definitely have a character happening. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, you know, that's my character. You were character. a pirate last time, this dread pirate freckle beard or whatever. We I are. see, I work on a cruise ship normally. So, like, Ooh. I seem to find a lot of opportunities to uh, be a pirate. And <laughs> I went to the pirate festival in Hammond a while back, and my cousin was like, I was, I was looking at like, these really cute little corset bodices. And I was like, I just don't know if I could justify spending this much because I don't know how often I'll actually get a chance to wear this. And my cousin was like, I don't know, Crystal, you seem to really find a lot of excuses to dress up like a pirate. Yeah. I don't think it would be too hard. <laughs> it's got to be like at least a dozen times that I've been in pi full pirate costume. So did you get it? I did not get it, but only because they didn't have the one I wanted available in my size, and they said that they will at the Ren Fair in the fall. So I'm gonna wait. Okay. All right, just oh. a little bit underneath. The the tape trick is so good, and I and I never do it. It's a good. I know I have to remember that. It's a really well. We were doing so the other shoot that we did today, where I got there, and I I didn't know they were gonna also be doing a live. So um, I got there and look up for me and they were like, oh, we're going to be doing a Facebook Live in 15 minutes. And I was like, oh, I'll like do, great. I'll just do two models in five minutes. No problem. They killed it. So uh, we just, I was like, all right, well, we just did a super quick look in 15 minutes for um, both, both the y'alls and just, you know, popped on a lip, pop on a wash of color and some mascara. It was impressive. Yeah, we've been all over live today. All right, let me get a little liner on you. And uh... I keep coming to look at the comments, but I'm wearing a top hat, so I can't get my head around it. <laughs> um, spirit, um, oh, spirit or haunting, Andrea says. Is, oh, Lisa says aura, um, and Andrea also said spectral. Those are all good ones. Ooh, I do spectral. like spectral. Aura's good, spectral. too. Sounds nice. Yeah, yeah. Aurora Borealis. Aurora Borealis. <laughs> I look like a Disney witch a little bit. Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. so yeah, I feel like you, the hat, you need to swap hats, though. Yeah, I need, I need a more evil hat. This looks like, like, I, like I garden. I don't need to look like I garden. I do. Ooh, yes. This is slightly more sinister. Oh, wait, no, I got it. Yeah, this isn't evil enough. Make me eviler. Make me is evil or word. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> I like you. Happy. Let's see. Do you want, should, oh. we, Danielle, should we do, um, oh, yeah. 
Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, oh. <laughs> we need to come back a little bit. I'm oh, sorry. I didn't write you good. Oh, oh. oh yes. yes. <laughs> Should we do a oh, uh, badass chicks in the Moulin Rouge? <laughs> <laughs> what color brow? Better get that doll, sister. You want a red brow? You want a matching brow? Or you want a um, color brow? I think Whatever we'll do a matching brow for this. I think we'll just do a matching brow. Would you fine with diamonds in the glass? By the case, the meaning of expensive taste. I'm sorry, I love that. that yeah, like, oh, itchy, itchy. That's yeah, the yeah. best part of that whole song. Yes. <laughs> Sing it. All right, let's see. Okay, you get your brow in. And then uh, Brown. I think just a liner and a uh, mascara, and that's like a, that's like a good for an eye. Oh, some glitter. We need some glitter on this shit. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to swipe. All right, beautiful. I'm just doing a um, brow that matches a natural color brow, and I'm just using a little brow pomade with a. I just dropped makeup on you. So on the floor. All right, there's makeup on your floor, Danielle. Oh, no. It's all good. Oh, no. <laughs> At the Glitter Buffet headquarters, makeup on the floor. <laughs> That's never oh, happened before. <laughs> glitter everywhere. Glitter everywhere. All right, so just a little bit of a natural brow in there. But I think this would be a fun way. To, you could do like a fun, like, color brow like if you're doing this you could do a red brow you could do a you know a blue brow you could do you could do any color with this you don't have to go with your natural hair color obviously so cool yeah. um let's do some mascara yeah are these tampons yes, yes they, are. they are tampons <laughs> <laughs> You know who, what celebrity wore this before you? It just took me a minute to realize. <laughs> you know who wore this? I did not look at it that closely. Oh, yeah. sorry. I, I thought you knew. You knew. <laughs> well, I had my eyes closed for like most of the time. <laughs> but yeah, like I just kind of looked at the gist of it. And then now I'm just like, oh, the um, <laughs> Surprise. Yes, Danielle makes beauty. And you know who wore it? Boyfriend. Boyfriend. Who? Boyfriend. What? The rapper boyfriend. That's board. so cool. In a photograph with Greg Miles. Beautiful so photograph. Amazing. All right, my love. Um, All right, so it's 9.52, so we want to wrap up soon just so yes. we get the kitties to bed. Okay. Oh, I'm not old people time, so I'm <laughs> going to go to bed soon. You're like, it is bedtime for me. Okay. Um, cool. uh, Andrea said, I'm glad I wasn't the only one. I'm thinking she means that figured out it was tampons. Yes, it is. <laughs> I mean, I thought if we had to be a little more badass. I was like, I don't know if this is like the elephant in the room. Or just not gonna mention it. <laughs> I thought you all knew. <laughs> I thought it was obvious. <laughs> Oh my god, I love when you made this piece. It was so great. It's a great piece. Yes. Yeah. And it. gloves too, right, Danielle? Like I just love this little bead action on the face. Oh, yeah, the gloves, gloves and <laughs> there was like a shimmy belt <laughs> with tampons hanging like fringe. Really? Wait, what? <laughs> yes. Yep. I love that. Did you do a whole number in these? Is that what it was for? No, 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 no. This was for, this was a Mardi Gras theme. What was oh, the it was theme? For goddesses. It was for goddesses, right? God, crew of goddesses. Yeah. Oh. Um, uh, it was blood, blood money. Oh, that's awesome. So what we're saying is Danielle can make some headpieces, y'all. <laughs> and this one is also for sale if anyone is interested. Yeah, I'm just gonna bring. I, I have, have a lot of headdress. Head 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 so if you're looking for a headdress for an event, I'm interested. Or a particular I color, on that, probably. <laughs> you know what? When your dress doesn't have pockets, <laughs> you need to carry yeah, some backup. You gotta have a spare. Um, I did wrap him in the bathroom of like a bar with like a really nice drunk girl, and she's just like, "Oh my god, do you have a tampon?" I'll be like, "Do I?" Yeah, boy, I got you. I got you. 
Check out my head. You want super (laughs) heavy (laughs) slow light days? Okay. Or even worse. What is it that Oprah says? No, I don't got any. I don't know what you're talking about. I can't help you. I've never heard of a tampon in my life. (laughs) I actually just wear like I'm a diva cup girl. (laughs) (laughs) I'm gonna okay, you wear that. I'm just gonna wear a tiny little beanie that's just one diva cup and wear it. And that's gonna be. <laughs> I look. Okay. Maybe you could wear it like a yeah. unicorn horn. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, it'll be a diva. Cup oh no, unicorn. fill it with bolt bomb. Oh, <laughs> and you know, and glitter. What, what was it we were watching the other day that had a diva cup in it? Oh my! <laughs> it was that uh, Willy Wonka. Yeah, we were watching like the Willy Wonka version of Tom and Jerry, and it's all animated, but they had this like bush that had like candy on it. There's just this one shot. They just where looked- we were like. <laughs> They look like diva cups. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Were those menstrual cups? Yeah. We kept like rewinding it because they were like, no way, and they're shaped exactly like them. It was hysterical. Look forward. They're ahead of their time. Look down. I mean, look up. Sorry. Look down. Wow. Okay. Super quick look, but we, if you want like a statement, I we'll tuck that behind your ear. Can you give the side of your face? So it's a come close. Come close. <laughs> Put your boobs on the table. Rackle <laughs> witch. That's so awesome. Yes. I can't come any closer because yeah, I'm close. short. Okay, now, oh, wait, look, look. No, uh, no, we got. Wait, oh, I thought I was done, but I wasn't done. She's like, now, 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 now we got it. Okay. Okay, okay that's try to get as close later. as possible. That's what it is. Ooh. Move my little tampon hat back so you can see. Styling, profiling, all yes. of the above. I love it with the glitter. And that's the silver AB microfine, right? Oh, yeah. no, or no, that was the... That's phantom. Oh, no, no, the, no wait, um, that's phantom, powdered that's, um, sugar. Powdered sugar, sorry. That's wow, powdered. that's crazy. It's, it's not even glitter. It just, it's so pretty. Huh? Yeah. It just it's looks powder. like glitter. Yeah. It's, it's your glitoris. Look up. Sorry, I can't stop myself. Yay, y'all. This is so fun. Yes. Thank you so Yay. much. Thank you. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for joining right. us. Thanks, everybody. Oh, wait, we need to take a picture. We need to oh, take, yeah, we cool. need to take a, a I selfie. Let me try to put... I'm going to come down. I feel like I have space here. <laughs> Not with that. Never mind. Yeah. I mean, that's a bad angle. Oof. Hello. I'm going to take a picture of this, too. Okay, who's going first? <laughs> I'm trying to like get. Okay. Why don't you just screenshot, yeah, screenshot it? <laughs> I'm too far too far. To I'm taking this. <laughs> Ooh, we look good. Yeah, good. Danielle's not in that one though. Screenshot it for us, Danielle. You are screenshots. We don't understand technology. <laughs> it's too far away. Oh. And comment if there's someone that you think should be on look club with us now that we don't have to you know social distance as much is danielle taking a picture oh <laughs> what am i doing I'm screenshotting. we're still posing so i don't know what you were planning on <laughs> it, it it's very let me see Boop. i feel screenshot because this is an ipad is like weird it's way oh, that's okay mm. we'll remember one two three <laughs> Hey. <laughs> oh, she's gone now. All right. Bye. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye. And I'm Bye. about to, I Bye. will uh, put in a link real quick. Oh, yeah. 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 We missed you. I will put in the link to buy tickets to Big Wood Ball. So watch out because the computer is going to turn and you won't have such a pretty background. But I want to make sure everyone has a, a link to buy. This is some behind the scenes footage, y'all. Okay. Um, let me get y'all that link real quick. So if you want to go to the big wig ball, um, want to make sure she'll get this. Because <laughs> I also still can't get off all the gummed up glue. All right, y'all. 
Okay. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And that oh, is sure. the um, link to buy tickets to the Big Week Ball. We will be there with the Glitter Buffet experience. Midori will be judging. Um, there are going to be so many hats. <laughs> and um, we had such a great time. So good to see you, Danielle, and good to see um, you, Lisa, Andrea, um, and anyone else who's still out there. Danielle, we appreciate y'all tuning in. And um, we'll have post pictures, too, in Look Club. Um, let me... Uh, post that too. If you're not a part of our Look Club Facebook group, would love it if you join. And then we'll post pictures of our costumes um, this weekend. The Bianca says, nice look, ladies. Hope to see everyone on Friday. Get your tickets. Yes, yes, yes. And um, I will, like I said, let me see real quick. Post the uh, Look Club. You can join us. Um, on our Facebook group. Okay, this primer is really good because this is not. Look at this. <laughs> this primer is really good. All right, y'all. Thanks so much and have a great night. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Love you guys. All right. <laughs> I'm struggling to get this off. Really good primer. <laughs> oh, it's a baby. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Makeup remover. <laughs>